Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Dangan Ranta. Last time, uh, stuff happened, as you can see, right here. Yeah, that's not a pretty sight. Okay, what happened next, Makoto? Um, ellipses. Lots of ellipses happened. Everything went black. Oh, you, you passed out. Good job. Way to start the episode. Chapter 1, To Survive. Wait, so we cleared the prologue, and then it took this long to reach chapter what? What? <laughs> Whatever. When I opened my eyes, I found myself staring at a huge ceiling. It was a ceiling I remembered seeing before, and when I sat up, I saw someone looking at me. Again, it, it was someone I'd seen before. Oh, lots of people. Uh, ah! You're awake, finally. Uh, are you okay? Yes. Now's not the time for sleeping. Get your ass up. Huh? Uh, um... You were unconscious, dude. I, I had to carry you back here. Well... It's no surprise, considering what happened. What happened? Oh, uh, yeah, that happened. Ah! Um, yeah, you okay? You're kind of screaming. So that wasn't a dream, huh? What I saw, it, it was real. <laughs> That's right. Really did happen. Sayak is dead. Get, uh, uh, a deep, dark despair worked its way through my body, then exploded out of me. I shot up and took off running. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? I have to see for myself. I have to see if Sayaka is... Sayaka is... Just give up! You can check once, twice, a thousand times. Sayaka is completely and irrevocably dead. No, I have to see for myself. Why? Listen to what? us, man. What do you think is going to happen if you go out there? Well, what good is it going to do just sitting around here? I mean, why are we all hanging out in the gym? Friend, Tech, and she, she's dead. dead. When I said that, it hit me. I realized she really was gone. Calm down. None of us want to be here right now either. Then why? <laughs> Shouldn't it be obvious? Monica Kuma told us all to come here. <laughs> well, well, hold on. Don't talk like that. We all protested it. I mean. We remember the terrible price Sayaka had to pay, but... So... I'm the one who convinced him to come. Right now, we need to do whatever he says. There's business, right? Not a good idea to defy him without reason. Correct. We don't need to make any more sacrifices than we already have. Why should we listen to anything he has to say? Obviously, he's the one who killed Sayaka. Wrong! I would never do that. If you can believe if anything, you can believe that. <laughs> He's here again. Hey, um Unless someone like you unless someone about the school regulation, I absolutely will not interfere. I can promise you, I won't do anything that goes against the purpose of your school life here. Listen up! I'm famous at the safari parks throughout the world for following the Bear Times One rule. But, but Then who who did it? Who, who killed her? Come on! You already know the answer. The one who killed her is one of you. No one had a reply for that one. One of us killed Sayaka? Don't be stupid, that's... Wah -wah? Huh? What, what, what's the matter? You guys seem like you're about to see a dove get shot up with a Gatling gun. <laughs> Don't you remember what I told you when this began? One of you decided to kill Grad Sayaka so you could graduate. Someone's just following the rules. Nothing wrong with that. Well... You're lying, right? Of course he's lying. I'm telling you, he killed her. Wrong! Oh, sorry. Now one of you is the bona fide killer. Then if you want it, if they want to, the one who did it could testify that little fact. What? I don't think I looked around at everyone. They all had the same look on their face. Everyone looked at each other with a combination of fear, suspicion, and confusion. Uh, um... Are you serious? What? What is this? Someone killed someone! <laughs> it's amazing what some people are capable of. Just hold on. Hey, hold on. 
Don't just assume he's telling the truth. Stop talking. That is enough. Before we do anything else, I'd like to confirm something with the stuffed animal here. Hm. If one of us really did kill her, that person gets to graduate from the school, right? Huh? Come on. Don't play dumb. That's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you get to leave. <laughs> 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 what? Why? Why are you laughing? Because <laughs> naive. You're just so naive. You really think it's that easy? You can just kill someone and waltz out of here. Hey! Come You're super... on now! You're super naive. Devilishly naive. Hellishly naive. Oh, oh. No, no, no. The real thing has just begun. The real thing? Now then. Are you ready? Allow me to explain the second part of the rule regarding graduation. Just like I explained before, you must kill someone if you want to leave, however, even if you did that, there's still one more part to the agreement you have to uphold, remember? Then perhaps... Remembering to the rule... to rule number six of the school regulations. If you are the... If you are the blacken that committed the murder, you can't be find out, found out by the other students. That is what you're talking about, is it not? In other words... It's not just enough to kill someone. You actually have to get away with it! Which naturally need, means you need a system in place to access, to assess whether or not it's been gotten away with. Yahoo! So a certain amount of time after the murder has taken place, a class trial will begin. Class trial? Hmm. It'll begin a few hours after the murder. Everyone will gather together, including the Blacken, who committed the murder. And they and the spotless students will all engage in a big debate showdown. During the trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the Blackened is. And once everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote! If the answer you've arrived at is correct, only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The rest may continue their communal life. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. Which of course means your school life will come to an end. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. So you screw up and everyone dies. Well. Okay. So, um, what exactly is this punishment you keep talking about? Well, to put it simply... What? It's execution! Yeah! Execution! What? <laughs> and by execution, you mean... Execution is... Execution! Execution! Electric chair! <laughs> Poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! So to, to make sure I understand, if we get the gold right, then only they die, but if we get it wrong, all the rest of us get executed? Well done! Well, what a smart little chimpanzee you are. Look at what you implying, you didn't do it without actually saying it. Basically, what the outside world calls a lay judge system, or an inquisition type thing. And you'll be deciding who you think the killer is. But judge carefully. All your lives are on the line. Uh-huh. Oh, and let me just add the rule up. Let me add the rule I just described to your handbook. Make sure to keep it in mind. Your rule has been added to hey. the oh, Wait a second! What the hell are you talking about? Freaking insane, you know that? Huh? Um, what the? Last trial, the hell is that? I don't want anything to do with it. What's this? Well, and why not? Stop it! What do you mean, why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? What? Are you saying you're not going to participate in the trial? Trial. Only punishment awaits such blasphemy. The hell are you talking about? What punishment? Hmm. I might, I don't know, throw you in a deep, dark, scary prison or something. Shut the hell up! Say whatever you want, I'm not going to be a part of this. I don't believe it! Don't be so selfish! Stop it! You're the one being selfish. Kill whoever you want. That's got nothing to do with me. The evil standing before me. I'm 
trembling with fear. Shing! But I won't give in to such evil. It's my style to stick it out to the fiscally very end. You really want to get out of here. I have to go through me first. He said that he came guarding at us, although it's more of a waddle. Then... Are you enjoying yourself now? Are you? Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is not allowed! You violated a school regulation! All I have to say is well played. I invoke the mighty summon spell! Help! To me, godly spear, Gunnier! Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh god, oh god. <laughs> This wasn't supposed to. Why me? Suddenly, right at the end, her eyes shot up, shot wide open, and just like that, she never moved again. Yeah, that's um. Ugh. No way! What the? I don't. Uh, this can't be real. Yeah! No way! Hey. Well, now. Now I am painfully aware of the great power and meaning of a promise. I wanted to keep a corpse from popping up for no good reason, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I guess you all needed to be taught a lesson, after all. Haha, <laughs> what an amazing promise. But you can understand right now, right? Now you see just how serious I am. Defy me, and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. So, if you don't want that to happen to you, you'd best obey those school regulations. Junko's body has been impaled with a bunch of spears. An unbelievable amount of blood was pouring out of her body. First thing, time I'd ever seen the moment of someone's life come to an end. Nobody there could deny what they'd seen. Junko, who until just a second ago had been a friend, was dead. She died. She'd been murdered. Symbol terms was the death of a human being. Hey, um. Really not all that shocking. She just died. That's all. Just one died. More remarkable than the inevitable. It's no more remarkable than the inevitable demise of the entire human race. It's natural as the eventual end of the world itself. <laughs> This is some huge superhero comment. It's not like when you die, you didn't really die. <laughs> this is a reality. Why? Why did you have to kill her? Didn't you say you put her in prison or something? Hmm. I changed my mind. I knew it. No, uh, you've been waiting to kill her. No, you've been wanting to kill this entire time. Say what? Kill this entire time? Don't be silly. You can't kill time. Or are you being metaphorical? Are you saying I wanted to waste time the whole time? Yeah, Come on, what do you take me for? I'm Monokuma! Well, now! Anyway, none of that matters now. I have something I'd like to help you in your search for the Black. So the file has all of the information I've gathered about the death in question. I like to it's call it... the Monokuma file! That, uh, yes. Mm. I mean, naturally, you guys aren't experts at this kind of thing, so you can only do so much with a corpse. Instead, I've gathered up everything I know about the circumstances and cause of death. Yeah. What's that? How do I know the cause of death, you ask? <laughs> As the surveillance cameras got picked up the whole thing, I got to see it go down. So then... You know who killed Sayaka? <laughs> uh, of course I do. If I didn't, I couldn't possibly pass in fair and accurate judgment during trial, could I? Correct. That's a good point. The judge has to be able to make it the proper decision. That's somehow comforting. Well? Now then, please put your full effort behind your investigation. After all, you don't have any choice but to give it your best shot. Seriously, you don't have a choice. Okay, we'll meet up for the class trial in a little while. <laughs> Tell me I don't have a time load on this. And with that, Monokuma disappeared once again. Left us stunned and confused. Left us at a, a total loss. He left us with Junko's dead body growing colder in front of us. And for who knows how long, no one said a word. The fact that Sack and Junko were dead was a huge shock, of course. More to it than that. 
the idea that one of us had actually murdered someone. And if we didn't find out who it was, we would all die here. We found ourselves in a situation where we didn't help but look at each other with open suspicion. It's the worst situation imaginable. And yet, even with such a perversely terrible situation, she didn't show the slightest hint that it had gotten to her. Hey! Now is not the time to wallow in your depression. The worst thing we can do right now is lose faith in each other. That would be lead to the same disastrous result as having total faith in everyone else. What? In other words... Cooperation is absolutely key at this point. Whether you decide to trust or not trust is, of course, up to you. <laughs> Continuing to think and talk about the defeat certainly isn't going to help anything. What the heck? Saying stuff like that's just... <sighs> How many times have I told you? Anyone who can't adapt will die. Death is the only thing awaiting those who are unable or unwilling to adapt. <laughs> if that happens, you have only yourself to blame. That's terrible! What an awful thing to say, especially after what's happened. Just a second. Right now, exposing the killer is the most important thing. Because if we don't, we're going to die here. <laughs> uh, she's right. We need to begin our search right away. Of course. Either way, we can't run away from the situation. We have no choice but to move forward. What the heck? You just have to do it, I guess. What other choice do we have? <laughs> no way in hell I'm letting someone kill me. All right, damn it, let's do this. We just have to do it. Everyone kept repeating that sentiment. They were just using it like a mantra to give themselves strength. They're right, though. We just have to do it. No matter how much we don't want to, we have no choice. If that's what it takes to, the pot to survive, then that's what we have to do. Yeah. On top of that, there was something I needed to find out. I had to know why Sayaka had to die. Why she had to be the one. Terrified to find out, but still, I have to know. Otherwise, I'd never be able to accept her death. Which is why I don't have any choice. I've got to do this. Um, okay, so we can talk with everyone here. Let's do that really quick, do that really quick. Kumi, consciousness has crashed. Restarting now, please wait a moment. Okay, are they all just going to be the moment we What shot? should I do? Someone got right in front of us, say. <sighs> can't turn away from the situation. We have no choice but to... Okay, so they're all just going to say something in some more caliber. Huh? Uh, um... Well, what's going on? Okay. The only one who's going to say anything valuable would might be... Hey! Before we get start searching for Sayaka's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. You mean... Hm. You're thinking of putting someone on guard duty so no one can disturb the area, aren't you? After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey! In that case, I don't mind doing it. It's not like I'm gonna think, anyway. I'll let you guys figure out who killed the chick. Mm. Then we can let Mondo look after the scene. <laughs> no, we can't just leave him there alone. What? Why the hell not? Stop talking. It's obvious. If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for guard duty, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. Yeah. Well, fuck you! So then. Fine. Then I'll stay on guard duty as well. That way, there's no problem. Mm -hmm. Two-player co-op base defense with the two of them? With their stats, they're totally OP! <laughs> it's true, though. Since we, since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting on our faith in the rest of you. But... I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. Okay, so that's... You might say something interesting. <laughs> we need to hurry up and figure out who the culprit is. Thanks. Find out who did it, then only that person dies if we get it wrong. Oh. What the heck? That, that's what the ridiculous school regulations said, right? Okay, yeah, we're just leaving now. Just a second. Oh, come on. Before we begin the investigation, isn't there something else we need to discuss? Oh, yeah. What? I, I already talked to you, Kyoko. Anyway. We're going to find out who the killer is. If we don't, we're all going to die here. 
Are you kidding me? Fine. What the heck? I hate this, but still, we don't have a choice. We have to figure out who did it, or else we're all dead. Oh! Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you finally noticed. What the crap? No noticed what? <laughs> I was looking through the Monokuma file we received, and I noticed something very obvious and unusual. Huh? What, what are you talking about? <laughs> Go ahead, take a look. Nothing anything interesting about where Saika died? She died in Makoto's room. Ah! She's right! Ah, oh, didn't <laughs> check it. Then could it be? All at once, everyone's gaze turned to me. God damn it. Hold on, you, you've got it wrong. For one night, I traded rooms. Did it because she was afraid? <laughs> what the heck? You expect us to believe that? Just, t just tell us the truth. Yeah, look at everyone's eyes. I've done a complete 180 from just a few minutes earlier. Feeling it's a situation of fear had returned. In other words, you think I did it? Now, let me check that file really quick. Oh, whoops, that's a transcript. Not what I want. No. Oh, gosh, darn it. Oh, I can... Oh, there we go. Okay. And uh, now... Where is it? Regulations... No, no, that, that wouldn't be it. Um... Okay, I'm going to try and find the Monokuma file thing. Okay, that's not it. Maybe it's in the... Here, thing here. That's not it. That is the wrong person. Okay, that's not it. Okay, I have no idea how I access that. I'll figure it out at some point or another. Anyway, we're going to find out who the killer is. Because if we don't, we're all going to. Oh, come on here. Can I leave yet? <laughs> Just a. S uh, before I can read the. Oh yeah. Okay, I talked to the last. Who haven't I talked to? Just Leon back here. Are you no serious? Yeah, I'm try okay, I guess I have to talk to you now that I've activated the last event. Anyway. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm going to try and figure out where that file thing is. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I, uh... I've checked everything I can, like, in the menus, so I'm thinking... Maybe we just need to look at Junko's body. And that'll proceed the story along. Okay, so I gently place my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I sure was to check for bolts like the old movies, but... She's really dead. Yeah, no, she has 50 spears stuck in her, what do you think? She's gone. <laughs> I don't even know why you bothered to check after those injuries and losing that much blood. Frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Huh? Oh, oh, hold on. <laughs> hold on, wait, just wait a second. She, she's dead that way. What? Is everything that's happened so far is real. It's not a joke or whatever, it's really real! Let me out of here! Oh, what's it mean? Let me out of here! Somebody help me! What's your problem? You're just... just now accepting that? So then... Are we all done talking? We need to get our investigation soon, but at this point we should collect. Okay. We need to collect some clues to form the foundation, then collect... Okay. So... Oh, do I really have to say any more? Perhaps you be... I'd rather you didn't. No. Goodbye. Everyone pray for your for goodbye. For that Koko hurry up. Yeah. Goodbye. I'll be going to that Koko who's gone before we realize it. Yo. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, right? Better head to the scene of the crime. Mm. Ah, that's right. Hey, damn it! Let, let me just say this right now. Whatever son of a bitch did this to, here right now, is here right now, and they're thinking of destroying the evidence. You're fucking dead! They better not let me find him. I'll flip the trip. I'll skip the trial and cave their goddamn skull in myself! Seriously, I will F them up. I think it's other worth hanging there here in fact right now. So, um... But I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know. How are we gonna investigate murder? How do we even do something like that? Anyway! We really don't have to do anything in particular. We, we already know who killed Sayaka. What are you implying? This is very suspicious. It was you. Telling you, it's not me. <laughs> don't come any Closer, you're gonna kill me next? No! So, what the heck? Um, I'm not sure if I... It wouldn't hurt to give it a shot, I mean... Not for sure Makoto's guilty yet. Um, That's true, we may as well at least check the check. 
Even if I wanted to, I guess I, I couldn't help you investigate. Aww. Like, why not? I, I'm not good with blood. I think there's one glimpse that I black out. Oh, yeah? Oh, whatever. I don't think anyone's expecting much from you anyway. Alright, guess I better get going. I don't think you have to. Oh, whatever. When, uh, the writing looks at me is still filled with suspicion. Does anyone really think I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they got it wrong. Why do they have to suspect me? I have to do so I have to do something. Oh, it's everyone else. Execution is execution. Execution! Electric chair! Bzz, bzz, poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! Can't let that happen. Can't let things turn out the way Monica wants. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who really killed Sayaka. <laughs> Investigate. So she should look through the... Oh, okay. Victim uh, around 1.30 a.m. Uh, discovered Makoto's room in the dormitory. Uh, evidence suggests the death took place in the bathroom. Cause of death was a stab into the abdomen, also an injury to the wrist. Specifically, that appears to have suffered a fracture. I wish we would push forward if we want to find out what happened. Come on, I have to find the truth, so that we can all survive. And the I have to find out how she was killed. Okay. Okay, so... I'm pretty sure I was supposed to look at her body, like, much sooner. That was supposed to be, like, the first thing I did, but I did everything out of order. Whatever. I did the scene of the crime. My room. It won't make any. Gotta investigate my room. Head to the room where Sakura's corpse still remained. I was able to stay my room a little closer. I might reveal something new. There are scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. Is that evidence of the struggle? Looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Yeah, but there's something right there in the other room. If only I'd heard something. Wait. That would not have been possible. Huh? Hm. Don't you remember? All our rooms are completely soundproof. Something could happen in the room right next to you, and there's no way you could know. Well. Perhaps that was another one of Monica's strategy, creating an ideal setting for murder. Evidence of a struggle has been added to the... Okay, then. Uh, that's more struggle. I guess we can look in here. Wait, Kyoko's in here. Let's look around here first. Dang. Oh, okay. Um... Guess I'll look here. Uh, someone attacked it. What the heck happened? Uh, this is the replica sword. Used an attack plus. It's been taken out of the sheath. Hadn't actually looked at the blade itself. Shouldn't be surprised this says in gold. On top of that, old coating has come off on parts of the blade and handle. And the handle is especially missing a lot of the coating. Remember the coating sticks to you even just a bit if you touch it. Replica sword, yay. Okay, so I had to look at the replica sword. Um, I guess that's probably all of it. That's all I see in here, so. Oh, didn't mean. Hey, Kyoko. What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? N no. Not really. I'm searching. Searching? She's on her knees, carefully expect inspecting every inch of my Did room. Did you lose a contact or something? I don't know what she's doing, but she seems to be concentrating on it. Okay. Guess we got a CG for that. I should look around here first. I can check other spots later. What's left to check? Toolkit's inside the drawer. Hasn't been used. Makes sense. I mean, it's mine. I haven't really had any reason to open it. Can't imagine a situation where I need to talk it like this. Yo! Yeah, seriously. Um, what? We ain't exactly in the What? Used to be building that furniture. Fucking furniture, right? So you haven't used yours either then? Why? Not just me. What? Nobody's busted theirs out yet as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way. And the guys open their cool kits because, like, why the hell would we? Toolkit. Okay, guess that's important. Uh, okay. Now can I go in here? Oh, come on! What do I have left to find? A key? 
be on the ground. If I remember correctly. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, that's right, we. Oh, that's right, we'll have to trade keys. Eh, when we switch rooms, we switch keys, too. In fact, I would have had the key in my room the entire time. If that's true, then. I think we'll get in the room. Does Eric have forgotten to lock the door? No, that seems impossible. <laughs> Same goes for you, Taka. No matter who it is, don't open the door. Even if it's, if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? If we're saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it or open it for any reason. <laughs> Maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it? That's not possible. Taka was in here when we switched rooms. Without the care she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around, so she couldn't have dropped it. How did the killer... Switching rooms added. Okay. And now is that it? Air. Camera! I'm looking at the- oh, it's a lint roller. Uh, looks like there's way less than it was here, than it was before. Did I guess see how dirty my room was and decide to clean up a little? Uh, table? Oh, whoops. I could use- do you think I'm guilty? Hey. I tried on to make assumptions like that. I simply like, don't know whether or not you did this. <laughs> Whatever the decision, the rest of you come off, uh, I'll follow your lead. I see. How do you let me in? Um. Okay, it's not. Oh, I guess this is probably important. Though. So, please stand the sword was on. Okay. Guess I have to talk to you? By the way. No, I realized someone else on guard duty. Killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. There's a trash room here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. Yeah, I'm not sure that's possible. You son of a bitch! That dirty bastard. <laughs> Anyone who raises their hand to a woman is scum that deserves death. That's what my brother taught me. You're fucking dead! If I ever find the son of a bitch that did this, I'll pound this goddamn face in. What if it was a girl that did it? Yo. That'll all get sorted out when the time comes. <laughs> Good job. Okay, so look at literally everything. Not bad, but I don't think it's relevant. Uh, camera? That's camera. <laughs> Must be using to keep an eye on everything that's happening. I guess keep watching. Okay, now? I think I've looked at literally everything now. Oh, come on. Have I not looked at... Okay, TV. Lamp? No. I've looked at everything. Oh, maybe the table. I thought it was... okay. Scratching the gouges on the wall is bed, and it's a struggle. Some kind of fight mode. Mm -hmm. Items are completely silent if anything happens. Well. Okay. Same thing as before. Table is just part of the struggle. Can't... okay, no way I can look at that plant. Um... If I try to leave, it's probably gonna be like, look around. It's the room first of all. I've checked everything. Okay. I'm going to cut the video here and see if I can find anything new to look at. I'll be back in however long this takes me. Okay, turns out I can look at the lamp. I just had to move the camera around a bit. Oh no, that's the door! Darn it. Okay. Um, how about... What if I talk to Kyoko again? Hey, Kyoko! I just the scanning thing again. What are, isn't it obvious? I'm searching. Did you lose a contact or something? Okay, so... A few seconds later, she suddenly stood up straight and said, Listen. Are you a clean freak? Oh, are you a clean freak? No, I don't think so. Why? I think she's answered around my room one more time. I see. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. This is I suspected. There's something very unusual about your room. What are you talking about? So... I searched your room from below from one corner to another. Didn't find a single strand of hair. Indeed. Really now. Not one from the victim, not one from you. Even though you've been living here. You, you know, that no I've noticed something while I was looking around here. It looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but never touched it. Someone have used it I too. I see. Very interesting. Your room didn't have a single strand of hair in it, and someone used your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. The Sayaka or the killer? Well... That's the question, isn't it? Akoda's room cleanliness has been added. 
Okay, that, that's got to be the last thing, right? Uh, okay, how have I helped you again, Kyoko? Hey. Sure. Seriously going to become a... Okay, that doesn't let me look at it. Yeah, I really don't know what else the game wants me to look at here. Like, seriously. Maybe if I look at the wet roller again? Yeah, the wet roller is way less than the... Oh. Same thing as before, okay. Um... Yeah, I really don't see anything. Like, anything. I'm gonna talk to these guys again. By the way... Um... You son of a- room. You're fucking dead! Okay. Yo. Same lines. Okay. Nothing new to say here. Hey! Hmm. Okay, no new lines. Check the bed? Again? Gouges on the bed. The room keys. Um... 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 Yeah, I'm lost. <laughs> I have no idea. Wait, what was that? Right. No, I'm pretty sure I got something else other than the Hulk there for a second. Oh, whatever. Okay. Continue searching off-camera and I'll... If I find anything, I'll... Solve. Well, I'll come back... Blah, 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 I'll come back. Yeah, that. Okay, I figured out a new button, guys. <laughs> Doing that. Okay, so let's just look over over here. Notice observing. Wait, if I hold it, can I? No. Okay. Um. Basically, I'm looking for. Okay, I can talk to. Oh, this is a really obnoxious noise. Um. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Wait, what is that second thing down? Oh, is that the sword sheath? Anything about the sheath that's important? What was the sword I brought back? Using the attack? The sword's been taken out just the sheath, but... Oh, some scratches on that. What? I had to look at the sword and the sheath. Okay, but how the sheath is scratched up? No one used the sword during the struggle, it shouldn't make sense if the sheath were damaged. If you're going to attack someone with a sword, first thing you do is unsheath it. Having a sheath like this would only get in the way. It would just slide off in the middle of the fight. Why are there scratches on it? Okay, that's gotta be the last one. The other side of the store. Yep. Oh, wow, and negatives. Uh, no, I can't let it get to me. Can't afford to freeze up now. Okay. Ugh. <sighs> that's... Ugh. Wasn't a dream or an illusion. Lost everything that made her... her. Sayaka. All at once, I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, and the urge to burst into tears, but I can't hesitate now. Why did Sayaka have to die? I have to know the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up, I wanted to collapse, but that thought held me up and supported me. Okay, so there are only two things in this room I can look at. That makes this easier. I told myself I couldn't, I simply couldn't face what I saw, but now it's not the time to think about that. Well, the monocum file of right was said. Some sort of shark object thrust into her stomach must have been a killing blow. Uh, that's a knife. Whatever they used to get kill her, where'd they get it? Looks like something I should look into later. So according to monocum in the file, back is right where she's broken. Red looks so and bloody, that's for sure. Uh, oh, see that little bit of gold there? There's sort of glittery there on the wrist, too. Right there, where her wrist is also on, there's something glittery. That concerns me. Another thing that concerns me is... There's blood on her left index finger, but that's it. Almost of both her hands are totally spotless, but how can one hand on her finger? Back his wrist. Okay. That wound on her stomach is what killed her, so when she broke her wrist, that must have happened earlier. I mean, what, why would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? Possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. Attacker si attack si the killer attacked Sayaka. Move wrist got broken. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom, where they inflicted the deadly wound. 
I guess I can look at this thing back here. What's this? Look fast I get to the wall behind us. There it's uh Huh? Spend the blood with the numbers one one zero three seven. I mean, there's kind of a line between that, and nothing else has a like border line between it. I could do this. Okay, I guess I can. Yeah. Oh, guys, I mean. It would seem. Looks like you found it, right, Nakoda? The bloody numbers. Looks like the attack is dying. That's it. Okay, guys, well, we're going to end it right here because I think this has been going on for uh, long enough. Especially with how long it took me to investigate the main room, because I had to look at literally every random little thing on the ground that I didn't even think about. Well, anyway guys, um, see you in the next episode.